Why? Why? <laughs> So, dudes, give me just a minute and I'll tell you about a promotion that I'm doing. I'm partnering with a company called Apex Gaming to give you guys a personally tailored pre-built gaming PC called the Siege Station that will run Rainbow Six Siege at high settings. It's a beautiful rig fitted with the Ryzen 3 3100 Proc and an NVIDIA GTX 1650S graphics card. Check out the link in the description of this video to see it go through its paces on medium, high, and very high settings. It's a great entry-level rig for any of you guys who want to consider transitioning from console to PC, and it is at an excellent price for a pre-built PC. None of that upcharge stuff that you guys are probably used to seeing. Much thanks to Apex Gaming for working with me on bringing you guys the Siege Station. Check it out for yourself. Like I said, link is in the description. Welcome to another Operator How-To. Today we're going to be taking a look at Ace. Team Rainbow's resident, uh... Whoa. What is... Why is he wearing like that? All right. So, I can't legally require you to wear a mask, but I'm just strongly, uh, are you understanding what I'm saying? But I am wearing a mask. Right! You are wearing a mask of some kind, but you are wearing it the exact opposite of how you're supposed to wear it. It's supposed to cover your nose and your mouth, and yours covers, well, Exactly not your nose and your mouth. And it looks quite strange, frankly. Well, how am I supposed to wear it? I just said... <clears throat> how am I supposed to wear it, Harry? Oh, now you're just taking the piss, aren't you? Take a piss? That's gross, Harry. I already went before I got here, and I washed my hands for 20 seconds. Fuck you. Ace is a two-speed attacking hard breacher, not like there's any defending ones. He has access to an AK-12, smoke grenades, and hard breach. Ace's hard breach, AK-12, and smoke grenades give him a lot of versatility. After hard breaching the site, he can frag with his AK-12 and cover his own plant with smoke grenades. Smoke grenades, the AK-12, and a hard breach gadget will get you into the site and planting in no time. The AK-12 coupled with the smoke, AK-12 hard breach, AK-12 Hard Breach Smoke Breach AK, Smoke Hard AK-2 Speed AK-12 Smoke, Hard Breach Smoke Breach, AK-12 Breach. 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 I took a servo from your arms for my tripwire. Don't be angry. Breach. The AK-12 fires smoke grenades at a rate of fire of 12 seconds. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know where I was. Ace's gadget is what we've all been waiting for. Finally. Canned bread. The specifics of Breach in a can are worth its own section of this video. Ace gets three cans of Breach. He throws the can like any other throwable object in the game, like a grenade. When it impacts against a breachable surface like a soft or a hard wall, it will start a detonation sequence of three cycles. Step one leaves a hole about the size of a mirror window. After a few seconds, another hole is created right below it, making it twice as large. Then another few seconds pass and another hole is left below the second one, making it three times as large. A vault hole can be made in two cycles of the gadget, whereas a standing hole can be made if thrown correctly after going through three cycles. You're probably going to get away with that more at low elo, since the gadget is quite delicate, can be impact tricked by throwing an impact grenade right against the edge of the hole the gadget creates, or just shot out with, uh, bullets. Uh, my show's playing base and he's a fucking knower. It can also get zapped out of the air by Jaeger and Wamai. And of course, if you throw it at a shocked wall, it's just gonna go poof. You can see here at the last second, I realized I was throwing my gadget at a shocked hatch, so I tilted my mouse just a little bit to the left. But when it's not on some kind of breachable surface, you can see that you can pick it up off of the ground and then add it back to your inventory. Mute jammers interact with it a bit differently than Habana or Thermite's gear. When the gadget is being jammed by a mute jammer, it will wait patiently until that signal jammer has been destroyed, then continue doing its job when the jammer is gone. Ace gets three of these devices, but that doesn't mean he's replacing Habana's role as the queen of hatch destruction anytime soon. Reinforced hatches take two cans of breach to destroy completely, whereas Habana can get up to three. In a pinch, this lets Ace contribute just a little bit more to his team's strategy if it is needed, but it's not meant to be a substitute for Habana. Not to mention that using two of his cans will make his third and final one the end-all be-all for a potential wall opening if he doesn't have any help. Ace's gadget shines most on maps like Coastline, where it's hard to justify bringing a Thermite or a Maverick because of lack of cover that would make using their gadgets difficult to right. do because of flanks. 
The fact that Ace can use his gadget from safety very much like Habana makes him a good pick in situations where you're willing to sacrifice a faster detonation speed. It takes about 12 seconds for the gadget to complete its full three cycles and eight seconds for it to complete two cycles. Thermite gets it done in about six and it leaves a standing hole instead of a vault hole. So Thermite is more efficient. Everyone knows about the AK-12 from the Fuse video. Fuse mains exist solely because of the AK-12. Well now, Fuse mains are probably gonna drop Fuse for this guy because his gadget is so much better. Most of you already know about the AK-12, so I don't need to go into too much detail. Just know that it has one of the fastest DPS ratings across all armor types with body shots. Only Twitch's F2 beats it solely against one armors, but not two or three armors. And it has a fraction of the recoil, plus a 30 round magazine. Twitch might get a high rate of fire too, but that's about it comparatively. You'll end up in a lot of gunfights where the fast body shot damage of the AK-12 will save your ass if you don't hit the head. It gives Ace fragging power, but that's not all he gets. He also gets smoke grenades. In short, Ace has a great gadget, a great gun, and he can cover his own plant. The trick is obvious, then. Once you have sight control, pop a smoke and plant. You might be able to get away with just having some random guy plant the diffuser in casual and low elo, but once you start getting around plat 2, the hard breacher is going to be expected to have the diffuser. When you have your own smoke grenades, it's kind of a no-brainer. This is all easier said than done in ranked. Ace almost has too much responsibility. Join your teammates in. You're going to have to call out a lot. Thatcher, where are you at? Hey, Thatcher. Here? Okay. No, no, no. Uh, double Thatcher. Double Thatcher. Double nade. Double nade. Double nade. Okay. Opening wall. I can't push. There's a maestro. Callie? Callie, can you get the maestro? There's a guy in white van. Yellow pillar? Behind white van and yellow pillar. Guys, I can't. I can't play him without... Callie, the maestro camera. The maestro camera's still up. Okay, now Callie's dead. I, I have bomb. I can't help. I, I, I can't push with you. I'm the only guy here with bomb. Okay, I'm planning. I, I'm getting pushed. Help. And I didn't get help. At some point, you might just have to nat up and go for the pick. If you win your gunfight, then no one's going to notice, so just win it. Forehead. Open up the wall. Pop smoke. Plant the bomb. Lean back on that AK-12 when you need it. I'm trapped. He just that's frost. Two swung out on me. Two swung out on me, heaven. Hey, don't get too far from under. One in red. Where the fuck is this cam? Uh, Ella's still bar. Well, Lucy. You can punch it. Yeah. I like how that hits you and it's not directional. It's as long as it's in your line of sight. Well, can't push that way anymore. If you have time, you could drone. I know. You have all your utility? If have uh, cams everywhere. Yeah, but drone. Are you getting spotted right now? Oh, well, left. Uh, four left. Yeah, yeah, there you go. 1v1. Oh, I would probably go for kill instead. Do they have a cam on you or are you good? I don't think I have no so. idea. Soft wall on your right, by the way. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty much all I need to know about Ace. He has breaching charges as well. I don't really use them that much because smoke grenades on a guy who can open up the wall are really strong. He also has the FBI M1014 that sucks. So that's cool too, I guess. Ace brings so much to his team. He has a great gun. He has a great gadget. He has great utility with a secondary gadget. He's really a no-brainer to pick up and uh, justify his picking up a season pass, if you ask me. But the thing is, I wouldn't recommend Ace to new Siege players. I would recommend that you start out with Thermite, maybe get a couple of hours on him, just get familiar with the dynamic in your rank stack of what being a hard breacher is like. Get familiar with the AK-12, you can play either Ace or Fuse and T-Hunt a whole bunch. I didn't mention my attachments. I prefer running Angled and Hollow on it right now. And the reason that it uses NATO sites, I imagine has something to do with Ace being a PMC, just kind of picking out his own kit, lore-wise anyway. But Ace's usage of an AK-12 does not give you an excuse to run around like a moron and play for picks. Play off of your teammates, get your utility down, and get the job done. Coming up next, how to play every operator again. A roundup for 2020. I'll see you guys there. Thanks so much for watching. Deuces. <laughs>